Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Arcos carrying bag for the Nintendo Switch from TomTok. Now, this is the more compact version of the two. They do do a travel bag, which is a little bit bigger, and I've also done a video on that recently. So here it is, here's the bigger version. It's kind of like it's bigger brother for this one. I've already done a video looking at this one. I'll leave links down below where you go. Have a look at this one. This holds a lot more, but obviously it's a lot bigger. If you want something more compact, then this is the one for you. And what we're gonna do in this video, we're just gonna go and talk around it, and then I'm gonna show you a load of stuff that you can fit in this. I think you might be surprised at what you can fit in it. Okay, if I start off with the size then, you're looking at around 30 centimeters wide by about 19, 20 centimeters. And obviously it depends on what you've got in it, but if I say it's roughly 10, 12 centimeters wide, but again, as I said, the more you put in it, the wider it gets. So let's talk about the first look and feel. The quality is excellent, as most things are with TomTok that I've received. And it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant, so the water kind of runs off it. So if it's raining, you're not gonna get anything wet inside. You know this kind of material I'm talking about. And it's really nice. On the front, this whole bit here is a front pocket. Um, and you open it, it's simply a magnet. The magnet's okay, okay? So when you put things, I wouldn't put anything important in there because obviously it goes in there and it could, ease, it could easily fall out if it turns upside down. But if you're gonna put some stuff all along there, it's not gonna fall out because of this, this magnet. Uh, there's a strap here, there like that. So if you're carrying it, you can carry it like that if you want to. Um, and speaking of carrying, it does do a shoulder strap. I have the shoulder strap here. Um, the reason I haven't got it on there is because I don't use it, frankly. Um, I don't feel the need with this one. Uh, with the travel bag I did, with this one, I don't really have this hanging over my, my shoulder. So it's sort of like a regular shoulder strap. There's no padding to it. It's simply a strap. And that fits onto these two bits here. So you just clip it on like that and you can have an adjustable shoulder strap if that's what you need. Okay, let's get rid of that. And then also this bit here. This bit I don't think is gonna be for when, if you're traveling, you're gonna put this on a suitcase. That's where I would think it'd be best uh, on the suitcase handle, just there so it sits on the suitcase, so it's just nice and, nice and secure. And then oh, the other thing is this big zip along the top. So you undo that. And this is where all of your bits go inside here. So once you've opened it up, you feel the protection. There's not a huge amount of padding at the front and um, the sides, but this is where all the padding comes. This, these foam bits here, these don't come out, okay? So they're stuck in there. All these foam bits are what makes all of the protection. So you've got like a nice back bit of padding at the back there. You've then got this, which is the what they call the W shape. And the reason for that is, as you can see, for the thumbsticks, it gives the thumbsticks a bit of space there so they're not being pressed when they're in the thing. Then in front of that, you have a little slip with this, I'll show what that is in a second. And then in the front there, you have more space, which is generally for the dock, but I, I don't take away the dock with me, but we'll see what we can put in there. And then inside you have this nice material with the TomTuck branding all over. Okay, very quickly then, if I just talk to you about this. So at the front there, I told you about this strap. It has this little piece in it here, which holds 10 games. For the travel bag, it comes with an exactly the same piece, like that. This one holds 20 games. If you do want to take out more games, you're going to be in the travel one. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't just stick the 20 on this one. Uh, probably to cut cost, maybe, or maybe they just think people don't want it. I don't know. But there's only 10 games for this one. I don't carry physical games around me as much, so we'll just leave that to one side. And generally, I'll put my mobile phone in there, which is a perfect size for a mobile phone and that just slips in there nicely, nicely well protected. So I was saying at the back there we've got a Nintendo Switch, we'll stick a, a phone there and then we'll stick the we'll stick the dock in there just to show you. But there we go, there's a dock in there and that fits up there and then you just zip it up. That really it. So I've got a Switch dock and I'll have a few cables in there as well, but a really nice size, hardly stretched at all. So that's what you can get. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see what else we can fit in there. I generally tend to use either my NeoGrip or the Nixie Joy-Con, so I'm going to show you what it's like with these Joy-Cons. So these are big, we reckon we can fit them in, and as with the travel bag, because it's the same size, it does fit in, but it's a bit tight. Okay, so the, the thumbsticks do get a bit of protection from this gap, from here, these two gaps. It's a bit tight, but it does fit in and you can still fit other stuff in the front if you want to. So I have my Pro Controller, which is quite handily on brand in my TomTop case. Uh, like that, in there like that, it still fits. There we go. Not too tight either. Still plenty of room for it to go in there. I'm carrying it around. And, these, and then also I wanted to show you as well, if I'm not using those Joy-Cons, I do use the um, NeoGrip from Skull & Co. Now here it is. If I pop this in, 
Okay, I'm not going to put the little thing on there just to save time. And let's put it in. It's got the trigger grips on. Easy. Even if you've got the plus grips, it's going to be no problems in there whatsoever. Loads of room. And again, the thumbsticks protected using this kind of W thing that they talk about. And then again, more in there, more in there, more in there. So it works. No problems with the Skull & Co Neo grip. Now let's try the Satisfy grip. Okay, let's pop this in here. Again, a little bit tight, but no problems there whatsoever. Still pops in. So again, if you use the, the uh, Satisfy version of a grip, that fits in there, no issues. And then finally, I wanted to do another thing as well, is this. So this is my Orsley carry case. It's a very popular case for, for, for numerous reasons. Um, it's excellent quality, uh, it's very cheap. If you wanted to, and you wanted to carry this out, it does fit in like that, have that. Okay, you're not gonna fit much more in the front there, but that's probably gonna be it. And then some other bits in there if you wanted to, like a couple of joy spare Joy-Cons or whatever, a couple of cables. But it does fit in and it does zip up nicely. A bit tight because of the um, Pro Controller, but you get a Pro Controller and a case in there. And again, the case you can fit some other stuff in as well. So my switch in the back there. Let's pop my other switch in there and then my switch light. So I've got three switches in there and there's a ridiculous amount of room for cables and all sorts, anything you want to do. Superb. So this is the smaller version of the travel case. This won't fit as much in because it has basically the side bits. It's the side bits that add the bulk for the travel case and the other travel one as well has a, has a, um, a pocket at the back and a zip pocket at the front. This one just has the magnetic pocket at the front. So they're the differences between the two. But this one is great because you're going to be able to fit loads in it and they're pretty well protected, I'd say. Certainly the ones on here with the foam in, easy. So let me know, what do you think? What do you think? This is a great size for a great kind of like overnight bag for if you want to take your switch, or as I've been doing, using it for everything else other than the switch. But if I need to take the switch out, I'd use this as well anyway. Okay, any questions then, do let me know down below. If you've got anything you want me to put in it and try to test out for you, do let me know. This is a fantastic quality, as I kind of expect from Tom Tok, really, because all this stuff's great. This is the Arcos carrying bag for the Nintendo Switch. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this on Amazon. Okay, thanks so much. That's it then. That was my look then. Take care until the next video. Bye bye.